In my first presentation, I'd like to cover the topic number theory and computation. Now watch carefully. The first thing I'll be looking at is called the number system. Now the number system comprises what is called real numbers. And they are as, as follows. The first one you need to know is called natural numbers. What are natural numbers? Well, natural numbers represent counted numbers. So natural numbers comprises the set of what is called counted numbers. So as the name suggests, counting means that we're going to count. Example, so because it's a set, you have to put the curly brace to show the, the notation, the set notation. Now because it comprises what is called counting numbers, you start counting, but you start counting from one, so it's one, two, three, four, and because it is infinite, we write three dots to say on, so on, to show that it doesn't stop. It goes up to what is called infinity. So this is called a set of natural numbers, which is what? Counted numbers. The next one is called all numbers. Now, all numbers represent natural numbers. And zero. So it, it is a set of natural numbers inclusive of zero. Inclusive of zero. Example. So 
because it starts from zero. We have zero, one, two, three, and so and. And this represents what is called whole numbers. Now we can also denote these number system by a letter, a certain letter, for convenience. We can denote natural number by what is called an N written like this. That represents natural numbers. So we use to denote natural numbers. We can also denote whole numbers by what is called a W. whole numbers like a W. So we reserve these certain symbols are recorded, we denote it by these letters. So N is what? Natural numbers and W is whole numbers. So as you can see that natural numbers represent what? Counting numbers and whole numbers represent a set of natural numbers. So it has one, two, three and so on and also zero. So it only has one more element which is called what? Zero. So all numbers comprises natural numbers and zero. The next thing you need to know under the number system is called integers. Integers. And by the way, you can denote real numbers by R. We number denote real numbers by R written like this. The third one is called integers. And this is denoted by like a Z. Integers. Now, what are integers? Well, integers comprises, watch carefully now, natural numbers, negative natural numbers, and also zero. Or we could say integers comprises all numbers and negative natural numbers. What, what does that mean? It, it comprises all numbers set as from zero to infinity. Infinity means keep going, going on and on and on. It doesn't stop. So infinite means it doesn't stop. It's uncountable. Infinity, we keep going on and on and on, of course. So it comprises all numbers and also negative natural numbers. So I can say that integers comprises All numbers and negative natural numbers. Example, so because it's an infinite set, it's uncountable, the numbers appear to the left, so we can put on, so on, so the three dots mean on, so on, we can start the n number one for convenience, minus three for instance, minus two, minus one, so these are the negative natural numbers. Then zero, that's the old numbers now. And because it's infinite, we have numbers to the right as well, which is uncountable, so we put three dots to say and, so, and. Because it's an infinite set, it's uncountable. So integers, which is denoted by a z, comprises all numbers, which are zero and so on. So these are all numbers. And also negative natural numbers. 
negative one, negative two, negative three, and so on. That's called integers. The next one you need to know, which is also on the real number system, is called rational numbers. Now, rational numbers are denoted by what is called a Q. What are rational numbers? Well, a rational number is any number that can be expressed as a fraction. Is a number that can be expressed as a fraction. both its numerator, its numerator, and denominator being integers. Being integers. Same. It is any number that is a fraction form. It's a number that can be expressed as a fraction where the numerator and what is called the denominator are integers. Now, I just introduced you the word numerator and denominator. Well, if you have a fraction, it means that the number at the top is called the numerator and at the bottom is called the denominator. So that is we can say now that rational numbers written like this comprises as a set binary notation, it's called a set binary notation. It is P divided by Q such that is an integer, this represents an element, means it is a, it's an integer, and we use this, the integer don't, to denote integer, the z, so we denote z by integer, so we are saying that it can be expressed as a fraction where the numerator, which is the p, is what? Integer, and also the denominator, which is q, is a set of integer denoted by z. However, ladies and gentlemen, the denominator cannot be zero. Even though it's a set of integers, we know that integers comprise, comprises natural numbers, what, and also negative natural numbers and zero. But because we do not want zero to be the denominator, because we can't divide by zero, so we're saying the denominator can be integer, except written like this, except written like this, zero remove zero from the denominator. So this is saying that, watch carefully, the rational number <laughs> can be expressed as a fraction where P divided by Q is a fraction. P is called a numerator. Q is called a denominator. But we are saying that P is an integer based on definition, which is the numerator. Q is also an integer, except it cannot be zero. So the, this symbol means except. This means except. And we could say exclude zero. So this line here 
It's not mean except always we are saying we remove zero from it or minus zero. Okay, but this one is not only to be taken as is. Why? Because, ladies and gentlemen, a rational number takes two forms. Come now, watch carefully now, walk with me. Come now, pay attention. A rational number takes two forms. 